Welcome back everyone, got the, another Keuvo on deck And yeah, um, you know after these past few videos of doing Keuvo, Keuvo magazine I noticed that the front covers look kind of uh, Like they're just not as exciting as maybe Street Low magazine or the Street Customs I would say even Firme magazine has a lot more interesting front covers but you know, because Gilvo is just like plain solid color in the background and then um, classic car in the front. But and there's just like all these words and like, uh, is it the coolest front cover I've ever seen? Teen Angel definitely has cool front covers. But so I think just from that, you know, I just wish Gilvo front covers were a little bit more pop like teen angels but whatever let's get into it and it's this one has ex exclusive interviews with hollywood's dynamic latino couple richard iniguez and roxana bonilla gianni nini giannini oh here we go feliz navidad from who from artist something allen 79 Feliz Navidad from the Kevo staff. That's pretty cool. Santa Claus with two sexy elves. Got that table of contents. Let's get into it. Letters to the editor. Some edit notes from the editor. Looks like a little story or something. A little Christmas drawing. I'm assuming this is a Christmas issue. The 53 Bel Air. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See down here. That looks pretty sick. What is this? GMC Truck 76 by Danny Parra. That looks pretty cool. I like that really box square shape damn looks like a real gangster car and here's more information the night warrior can't really see the mural but the car the car speaks for itself the the grill in the front the chrome i like the effect that they put with the camera you know they, they made the chrome look all like sparkly Glock, glossy black automatic classic I'm not a fan of uh, cars that I see that are matte black uh, it's a bit odd for me so seeing something glossy it's always cool clean Chevy by Robert Rocha 65 Chevy Robert has been a low rider for about 10 years, he was once president of the classic, Classics Car Club de Santana. The bodywork was done by Charlie Lopez in Bakersfield. He won awards for best paint and best motor. Nice. And a Pachuco. First time ever. Another ad for, I guess, for the poster. We saw another ad in the last issue as well. Royal image. From South El Monte. Pretty cool. Let's see if you can see the middle of the picture. Mm -hmm. The Chicano style is skillful. Spread the word and make money at the same time. Two ways you can help Kilwa and yourself. Community representative program, student or an organization representative program. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Baby Blue. 1954 Chevy truck by Mike Ruedas. And that's pretty cool. I really like the the freaking uh, spokes 
and the white walls make it really give the truck like a gangster feel because I know a lot of people have trucks like these but those kind of tires give give it away give it um, that gangster feel and then here we are with Mexican Revolution and I don't know if you guys can see really well but let me see if I could focus in but this picture right here there's a young lady holding the car club plaque the placaso but can't really tell what it says boulevard cruising you can see this paper has nothing on it but on the top right it has a huge portrait of the I'm assuming everyone at the car show mm -hmm. this picture is hella hella dotty dotty pointed pointillism Boulevard cruising. If you notice, this car has a. It doesn't have the spokes. It has, it just has like the. Like the. The the rim is just like flat, and so, even this one doesn't look as gangster as the, truck that we saw on the other page. Interesting little details. You got some fool on the bike doing tricks. You got some, some dudes at the, at the, at the gun show, showing off their new tats. Man, what is up with these pictures that are so, they just look like they're made of little dots. I think the pictures were like, I don't think it was done on purpose. I think the photographer like messed up or something. Or at least that's what it looks like. But yeah, people at the car show, you have the car club people, people hanging out right here. On the right side, you have um, on the top, on the top right here, you have the lady with a little child. That out of all this whole two pages, I think that that image really stands out to me. It looks like the, the girl has like shaved off eyebrows and it gives that, that that really, you know, that that 70s gangster look. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm always like intrigued by the shaving off of, of the eyebrows. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Let's continue. A story by Andrew J. Quinones, Christmas story. Christmas comes but once a year. Fresno Cruzathon. And yeah, this one just has a uh, more black and more black and white pictures. Just people hanging out. Um, these these pictures right here that are. are where the person is just looking straight at you and they're just standing still those are also kind of interesting but i kind of don't like it how i feel like the sun is hitting her too hard and she's just so bright and the girl's shirt if you can't read it it says susan took sun happening Yeah, Arizona Vatos. I like the classic look, or this is like a lot more hippie style. Or I don't know if it's hippie style, but you know, the pants are. Looks like the, the bottom where the pants where it, it gets to the foot, to the feet, like the, the pants gets kind of wide. Boot cut. Yeah, but that looks really. That looks really nice. 
Richard and Roxana. And then it says, Hospitable, preserving, and down to earth is how I would describe two of La Raza's beautiful people living in the Hollywood Hills overlooking the famed Sunset Boulevard. I don't know who these people are, man. <laughs> okay, it says, um, let, 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 let me read you the first paragraph. It says, you've got to be confident within yourself knowing there's no one better than you. And you're unique. And this is how Richard, you need guess, you need guess. Film star Boulevard Nights and Raices de Sangre. Okay, so that's the main actor from Boul Boulevard Nights. I thought he looked kind of familiar, but I didn't want to say it, though. I've seen Boulevard Nights, but I haven't seen Raices de Sangre. Guess I gotta look that one up. I will, but now for the woman, I would like to know where she comes from. I'll look her up later. The girls from Fantasy Island. Young stars on the rise. We're in Hawaii. And then this beautiful poster can be yours, Raza Unida. That looks like a pretty cool poster. You know, on eBay I've seen Teen Angel posters, but or uh, yeah, I think I've seen mostly Teen Angel posters. Haven't really seen any Geovo posters on eBay. Low writing, more black and white pics. And then, yeah, it says People's Choice, Kiki's 54 Chevy, PB Boxers with Fiesta Queen, Geovo in Texas, some dudes with their, their hats, Alex and David. I like this picture because everybody is dressed a little bit differently. You know, you got people dressed up with um, the white collar t-shirts. One of them is wearing a tie. One of them has the shirt open. But then at the picture directly below that one, the guy's wearing a, just a normal t-shirt with a vest. Looks like over here on the bottom left, some guy's wearing a, just a t-shirt. And this guy over here is just wearing a dress shirt. Yeah, everyone's just a little bit different. Dedications. Oh no. That means we're getting near the end. Catch Latin Disco. Arte, Arte del Barrio. I do not recognize anyone. But. Yeah, I I like the, I think my favorite one from these three drawings are, is the one in the top right. The one, the little characters look like, look like Mickey Mouse characters with the big eyes. Yeah. Kyuvo Angels. Yoli, Cheryl, and Fran. Fran. Francis. And Barrio. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said that. And Barrio Warfare. And Barrio Warfare. The conference was a meeting of minds and a plan for peace. Something similar to, like from the movie The Warriors. And Barrio Warfare. Let, let's see who is at least speaking. And up here it says, Henry. Henry Rivas speaking at the conference and Gus Frias, coordinator of the End Barrio Warfare Conference. This looks pretty interesting. Did they succeed or did they not? Or are they still in the fight to end Barrio Warfare? Game subscription 12 issues for only $13.50. Count me in. Boom, fashion. I'm not gonna lie, this is one of my favorite sections of Geovo. Trying to get the glare out. You can't lie. I think the people that work on the fashion 
section they do like they put in, they put in a lot of work cuz these things look these two pictures look really interesting even their pants is just flashy they're even like the photo shoot is pretty cool they're they're like in the middle of the, in the, of the dark there's like a a light coming from somewhere and then it's like boom you can see their shadows that's pretty cool the shadows disappear into the bigger shadow And then you got a lady on, on the right. She's all black and white. I wish it would have been in color. That would have been cool. Christmas and glamour. Ah, dedications. That's it. That's it for the fashion section. Brown Occasions Car Club. Ocasiones Café. Brown Occasions is a car club that has been around for 13 years and is from San Gabriel. San Gabriel, under the guidance of President Huey, the club has become very active in fundraising projects. Leg Lake is the place where you will see a Brown Occasions plaque on a Sunday afternoon. Brown Occasions, a club that is together, respected, and friends to all. Nice. Bring back the color. This looks really cool. I wish there was like a music video that was just focused on the lowrider. Because usually, you know, music videos where usually uh, like sitting in the park, there's like, there's lowriders in the video, but you know, videos are mostly focused on the people or the artists, but it'd be cool if there was a music, a music video just focused on the car. Like just music playing and everything, but all the angles, all the shots are just focused on, on the car. I think that'd be pretty cool. This is a 1954 Chevy Bel Air, Frankie, 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 <laughs> Frank Salas from Azteca Car Club. Pretty four and low, pretty cool. Even this one has the the spokes on on on, on the wheels. I think I'm, I'm I'm a big spokes fan, more than the than the flat, than the flat rims. And more street murals this is pretty cool. David Botello, Johnny Gonzalez from Olymp Olympic East LA. Photo from Flores. Man, they cut back a lot, huh? It's all black and white. Should have been in color. But this is a sick ass mural. There's some dude on the subway and he's like looks like they're ex experimenting on him. At least I think he's in a subway. Or he's just a Chicano dude in the lab and they're doing experiments on him. All these murals are kind of horrific. Now look at the top right, this an indigenous man being crucified, chained up. And on the bottom, there's like a bunch of kids with white hands pushing them down. Ooh. Dedications, dedications. New Year's in LA. The Kilvo Angels. Pretty cool putting up a Christmas tree. But then. Nah, that's it. That's a pretty cool ending, though. Wait, is this just course? Is it, is is this just an ad for course light? No. Ah. Over and all, I like Evo magazine. I just wish there were more colored pictures, or at least a little bit more. Like a little bit more on the fashion section, but other than that, it's a lot of reading. But I think the it was cool that they interviewed Richard R Richard Niguez. Yeah, I kind of look forward to reading that. I've always been interested in that fool's life, but never really done any research on him. But now that I have the Cuba magazine, I guess it's a little bit easier.
but that's it watch out for my next video peace out